Hey what's up everyone, this is Nash. I had really bad experience with last two rooms I flashed on my OnePlus 3. So I went back to stock room but I wanted to have root access. And unfortunately something is wrong with TWRP and OnePlus 3 this year. So I couldn't flash super soon. And then I flashed a room called Experience OS ROM. It's based on Oxygen OS 4.0.2 and Open Beta 11. So you'll get something extra. So you get stock kernel, super su version 2.79, busybox pre-install, add away 3.2, multi-window and custom font. And apart from that, arise sound system, all OnePlus icon packs, Google Pixel wallpapers and experience Rome boot animation. So that's all what Rome has to offer. And now I'm going to tell you my experience with this Rome and the features and performance of the Rome. So this Rome has nothing to offer in terms of customization. Because this Rome is not focusing on customization, the main focus of the Rome is to give you a lot cleaner version of Oxygen OS with stock kernel and with Super Su pre-installed. Feature wise you get quick setting customization even though there are not many tiles to choose from but something is always better than nothing. Status bar customization is very limited. You can remove any icon from status bar and also you can only change the icon of the battery. The room has inbuilt ad blocker. Something unique about this room is that it has a custom font pre-installed and it looks really good. Viper for Arise is pre-installed so you can easily tweak your audio quality. Here is the sample. Now let's talk about camera. It has stock Oxygen OS camera and it's super snappy, quick to autofocus and also it can shoot 1080p at 60fps and 4k at 30fps. One more thing, this camera has slow motion at 120fps but OnePlus One had 240fps, I don't know why but you can have a look. This camera is one of the very best camera in any room and if you are on different room and want to have this camera just google it and you will definitely find a port for that. And in case you want to have 240 fps slow motion then port the oneplus one oxygen os camera. Enough about the camera, the room is super smooth and scrolling is smooth. I had no force close, no random reboots and no problems with root or titanium backup. Now let's talk about battery life. I got around four and a half hours of screen on time and I was kind of happy because everything based on nougat gets around four hours of screen on time. Standby time is very good because overnight only 4% of the battery is lost. And if you are into benchmark and score, here is the into to benchmark score for you. Unfortunately, there is no OTA updates and there is no Google Assistant. One more thing I would like to add is Wi-Fi quality. Many guys are complaining about Oxygen OS 4.0. The Wi-Fi signal is weak. So in this room, or maybe it's fixed on Oxygen OS 4.0.2. But the good news is it's fixed. So I would give 3.5 to this room. So if you are on some CM based room, then you should definitely check out this room. I will give the link in the description. You don't need to flash the gaps, but the room size itself is big. It's 1.3 gigs. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, just like this video and subscribe my friends because I make this kind of videos every day. And my name is Nash and I will see you tomorrow.